There comes a point in a captain's career where they want to make obscene amounts of money. And today I'm going to help you do that by bending the very rules of time and space. Not by smuggling, though smuggling may indeed be covered in a future video. Today I want to talk about two methods of obtaining money more efficiently and more quickly. One is a minor exploit. I believe it is in fact working within the uh, design of the game, if not the intent. And the other is basically cheating. So let's go with the first one, and it concerns prospects. When you go to a major port in Sunless Skies, you will be greeted by two prospects. And the key to that is you will always be greeted by two prospects if you currently have no prospects. And so you can make sure that you tailor these to what you need. So here we've got a prospect for Megalodon and we've got a prospect for Titania. Now I don't actually have five panes of stained glass but I'm going to accept this anyway and I don't have, I don't really want to go down to Megalodon so let's see what else we can get. And what I can do is I can then immediately abandon both prospects and if I undock and redock and head straight back to the bazaar what I will find is two entirely new prospects generated for me and this is repeatable so here we've still got one to titania but maybe we are not going that way maybe we're going to let the nature reserve and to port prosper maybe we're going down towards the forest and towards lustrum maybe we want those so we can just repeat this and Okay, actually we do have one for Lustrum. So let's say we do want one then for the forest. That's really straightforward. We can then just take both, abandon the one we don't want, and it will generate a single one for us. The trick is, basically, regardless of what it says about the 30-day timer, they always seem to want to ensure that there is at least two prospects available to you for any major port and it is consistent and repeatable i'm pretty sure this also applies to smuggling but like i said we'll go into smuggling in a future video and so if i go here okay palmer and plenties but it's a different uh it's a different one so yeah now as to the other method well that one i'm 99 percent sure is completely unintentional and that is you can make money in the finest tr most traditional way possible that is to say you make money by selling things you don't own so when you sell something in sunless sky you can use these arrow keys or arrow buttons i guess to select how much you want to sell and if you've only got one well i mean you can only sell one thing right but no, that's not actually true, because you can manually type numbers in. And you sell them and you get the full amount. So when you're dealing with your ship, these numbers here go a bit funny, but not for long. And you can just repeat this. You can also do this with your bank. You can in fact do this with anything. It's just that you can't buy these things at port, so it's less easy to do. But I mean, for example, I could go down here and I could sell 99 caged catches if I wanted. Uh, I don't. But uh, with your bank, it goes a bit funny. So let's buy some fuel and supplies and I will demonstrate. So if I go to the bank here, uh, you can see that I've got one fuel and one supplies in the bank and it, I can now go back and I can sell directly from my bank. It's quite convenient to do things this way. But then if I do this, my bank does seem to retain a negative inventory, kind of. So right now, if I were to buy things to my bank, my bank is actually not going to register them because I would need to buy 99 of them to suddenly have a positive number. But this isn't a permanent state of affairs, right? I can go back here, I can sell off these, 
and then I can reset this number in the bank. Uh, I can either do that by undocking and redocking, or I can just transfer stuff from my ship to the bank, which seems to set the number, not add to it. So there you have it, a simple, quick way to generate literally unlimited amounts of cash. Obviously, this is almost certainly completely and utterly cheating. You might as well, some might argue, modify your save file or use some sort of cheating program to do this. And I agree, you might as well do that. Except this can be done in game, it can be done very quickly, and it doesn't risk your save file and it doesn't risk having to download a cheating program from potentially a not very savory site. I mean, it's not that hard to get one from a site that hosts a clean copy, but why risk it? And there you have it. Two not very legitimate ways of making money more quickly than anyone really needs to.